Greetings everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification link to receive notifications on recent videos that I upload to this channel. Also hit the like button. If you want, you can follow or add me on Facebook at Tony Fast Hands Harvin. That's T-O-N-Y space F-A-S-T-H-A-N-D-Z space H-A-R V-I-N or type in my email to my primary personal page which is boxer T-O-N-Y H-A-R-V-I-N at gmail.com that's B-O-X-E-R-T-O-N-Y H-A-R-V-I-N at gmail.com I am also on Instagram not as much at Tony Fast Hands Harvin here I'm bringing you guys some legit certified news on a Lutheran pastor by the name of Stephen Sabin out of San Francisco, California who was arrested on child pornography charges, possessing more than 600 files of child pornography and distribution of child pornography. Do note, some of my information I give credit to NBCBayArea.com and StanfordAdvocate.com. According to the police, the pastor Stephen Sabin, who was 59 years of age, was allegedly distributing child pornography through a social media application. Invest Investigators executed a search warrant on November the 15th of this year at Sabane's home in the 1300th block of Market Street and allegedly found a cell phone of Sabane's containing images and videos of children being sexually abused. Police said investigators also found that Sabane had allegedly stored child pornography in a cloud storage application. Now, as we all know, this is a very sick case here. You got people like this who call themselves so-called pastors who praise P-R-E-Y-S on young children for matters such as this criminal charges that's against them, which is child pornography and, you know, having a sick mind to visualize these things and put them into action. Demonic-minded, you know, folks equal to Stephen Sobain love to try to put themselves in positions in the church such as becoming a pastor such as becoming some type of leader in the church or a coach in, in sports making fake social media accounts pretending that they are kids just to try to reel in the kids and so on and, and, and develop these sick thoughts to try to put into action I know me as a parent I'm very very overprotective you know or pertaining to who my children, who I let my kids around, who I let babysit my kids, who I let coach my kids, even, you know, pastors in general, you know, around my kids. You know, that's just me as a parent, you know what I'm saying? In general, we got to watch, scan, and if need be, get a background check on persons who we let around our kids. That includes our family members. You understand that? That includes teachers in the schools. You understand that? I'm concluding, so feel free to drop a response. You know, your thoughts on the situation. What do you think about it? You understand that? Uh, I am Tony Harvin. May you all have a blessed day.